Hi Pisces, welcome to Ama Beauty Tarot. It's your girl Leanne, aka Lola, your goddess guide to deep inner, inner wisdom and deep soul transformation. That is the Buddha and the butterfly, that is the Ama and the beauty, and that is the Holy Spirit and the magic. And welcome to this um, weekly reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So wherever you might have Pisces in your chart, this reading might be applicable to you. This reading has no time. This reading doesn't really have any gender because tarot has no gender and it has no time. So whenever you find this reading, it could be five years from now, 10 years from now, 100 years from now, this reading will still be applicable to you at the moment that you find it. So welcome, Pisces. I appreciate you being here. We're going to actually do a little bit of a prayer um, over the cards. We're going to ask Holy Spirit to join us for this reading. And then we're going to get right into a nice Celtic cross for you. This is covering the last week of August, all the way to um, August, wherever, whatever day you find this. Um, up until the 2nd of September, so up until the Saturday coming up. So uh, let's do a little prayer and ask Holy Spirit to please allow this reading for Pisces to be clear and concise and to the point, allow them to gain any information they might need from you, Holy Spirit, so that... Ooh, and make it clear. So we don't want every card falling out. Give them a little insight for the week. Whatever it is that they need to know, Holy Spirit, we ask that you give them the message. Take that card. And that you allow the cards to come out that would best give them guidance, give them clarity, give them peace and joy. No reverse, so we're not reading anything in reverse. Okay. Give them comfort, direction. Okay. We ask that you protect them, that you keep them safe. And that this message come to them in the way that it needs to come. It's a lot of nights on the, the uh, board. Two nights, two, yeah, three nights are already on the, three, two nights and one king. There's a lot of male energy going on for you, Pisces, right now. So, yeah, it's got a, a lot of power energy. We'll call it power. Whoa. So we'll take those two. All right, Pisces. Wow. Okay, Pisces. It's this is a, an emotional time for you. Uh, I'm going to start with that, and I'm going to say that um, there's there's some things that you need to be aware of. There's some situations that you need to, and some work that you need to do, Pisces. There's some work. So. Which everybody has to do work, but this is it's a lot of emotion on the board. Um, so we're going to start. Wow, where do we want to start at? That's an interesting outcome. Hmm. So we're doing a basic Celtic cross. We're going to start with the positions, and we're going to start at the one position, which is the basis of the situation, the basis of this reading for this week. And I'm going to start there because it makes the most sense to start there. I could start in the passing position, but I want to talk about that card a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> Well, as I said, you have you have one king, two kings on the board, an emperor, and a knight. So that's a lot of men. And a page of cups. So a page two. But we're starting at the seven of swords. So seven of swords is coming. At the basis of the situation, seven of swords, something was something has snuck away from you. Somebody is being underhanded and cunning with you. It could be you though, Pisces, because it's like you are the fish that's chasing itself. So you could be the, I mean, the basis of the situation could be you, could be the energy of the, uh, of the situation you went with, okay? But seven of swords, and, and as you can see, he's like sneaking away with the feathers in the night, right? So this is a stealth, theft, loss, sneaking away, underhanded, cunning, somebody's taking advantage, okay? So that's the basis of the situation, this energy of, of, I'm going to say underhanded energy is going on right now for you. What crosses it is the hermit. So the hermit is telling you that you have to go inside. 
to find the balance, to find the higher awareness, that you have to go inside to find the solitude. And in finding the solitude, you find the answer, right? Because it's like, if you look, seek you first, the kingdom is at hand. This is what this card says to me every time it comes out. That's what I hear. It's like, oh, seek you first, the kingdom is at hand. As you can see, there's a kingdom behind her. She's flying in the clouds. So it's like every time I see this, it's like this introspective solitude. But it's you got to go into you first, Pisces, to make sure that you're doing the inner work for you. And something or someone or maybe you uh, are, are feeling a loss, like something was stolen from you. Something was taken from you and it was done underhanded. And the only way for you to actually overcome that is to actually go within, go into the solitude and go into the introspection for yourself. And look inside for the answers about that. And you seek inner guidance in that way. Now, in the conscious mind, Knight of Cups comes up in the conscious. Knight of Cups. So this Knight of Cups, I mean, this is the love card to me, though. You know, because look how sexy he is. He's got the roses. Horses prancing and dancing in the background. He's got the picnic out. With wine and chocolates. This is like a love card, the night of the night of cups. When he shows up, I know love is showing up in some way. This is romantic, emotional, loving, and caring, intro, introspective energy. So this is like romantic energy. So this is in your conscious mind. So perhaps how I'm seeing it. Let me look at the whole board real quick. Okay. It's because the Knight of Cups shows up. This could be. This could be really relationship um, issues. This could be a relationship situation. Let's not say issue. This could be um, a situation ship, you know, an entanglement that's going a little AWOL, that they have taken something from you. Maybe they took your heart. Maybe they, they like a thief in the night, they stole your heart. They stole your power, whatever. But you have to go inside to get it back, okay? And because this Knight of Cups is in the conscious mind, it's like this romantic energy is in the conscious mind for you, Pisces. King of Cups is in the subconscious, though. So King of Cups, the loving, wise, helps other tolerant, loving, wise energy. That's the energy that's underlying program, which I really love that for you because that helps to actually bring you up and out of this Seven of Swords energy. It's like you get to the King, the king of Cups, from Seven of Swords to King of Cups. It's like you, you're raising... In that emotional level, you went from sadness to anger to to baseline to joy to a little bit of bliss, and you're going up. And when you get to the King of Cups, this is like you're getting to this like place where you are balanced in your emotion, that you have come to this ability to be very wise in your emotional state, and you are kind of that's the underlying program because that's the subconscious that's running in the subconscious position and the conscious position is this loving kindness for and i hope it's for self so we'll go to the passing position because in the passing position you have the emperor right so the emperor is coming up in the passing position and this speaks to me to the power that you actually personally have inside of you it speaks to the to to the authority the leadership the structure and and the, the 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 regulations that you've placed on yourself and the stipulations you place on yourself to be better, you know? And this is like that, this is like that, I don't want to say big dick energy, that's what I hear. You know, so, so and it's it's not guy or girl, remember there's no sex in tarot. This is just the energy that is coming forward. And that is something in the past that you places you managed to actually pull it from the past and bring it to the future. You know, so if you can under because of this seven of swords. There's an underlying energy of somebody just taking something from you. So you were strong in the past. Somebody came in, basis of the situation, seven of swords, and they're kind of taking from your energy. So the, the, the theft or loss for me, it feels energetic because there's a lot of cups, uh, cups and swords on the board. Okay. We'll get to that though. So, and then seven of wands shows up in the first card of the future. Okay. So the first card of the future is sixth, sixth position in the tarot, uh, in the uh, Celtic cross, seven of wands. And this is taking the higher ground. This is like you're on the defense. Okay. So she's in that bubble. You see that this, the wands are trying to poke her bubble and get at her, but they're not making their way through it because at the seven of wands is like, uh-uh, 
take a stand. You're in battle. You're in control. Take the offense, not the defense. And that's why I said this is, seems like a relationship thing because maybe they're coming at you the relation in the relationship thing, the person who made the basis of the situation, you know, stole something from you, your heart, maybe. And you have to seek you first. You have to go inside the hermit, you know, and these people are coming at you. These people are coming at you, you know, and they're, they're, and these people are coming at you and they're trying to make a, a, a path to you. And they're trying to get to you. Um, now, the, the attitude of the basis of the future or your attitude of the basis of the future is Page of Cups. Page of, and I want to say that every time I see this card, it's like when pigs fly, you'll get what you need. <laughs> but but that, that's just a strange little thing that actually comes to me. But this is like good news. It's like creative beginnings. It's emotional, loving, and just they're bringing good news of this emotional, creative beginning. Page of Cups. And this one always it seems to me is like magic is going to happen when the Page of Cups shows up. Creative magic, fun things are going to happen for you, Pisces. Um, outside source, King of Swords, outside source. So the King of Swords showing up, this is really diplomacy and intellect remaining unbiased. It's like this energy of like an ethical leader that's showing up. Now, if it's an outside source, an ethical leader is going to show up. It's person, place, or thing. It could be a situation that is an ethical situation that shows up. Maybe it's something at work where work friends are trying to get at you. They're trying to steal your job. Seven of Swords. And you have to go within. Pisces, you know, you have to go within. You have to get into that big big D energy. You know, rest in the sureness that you are really feeling your emotions, that they're, you're centered in your emotions, and that you're bringing love to the table, right? So... King, King of Swords shows up. Yeah, King of Swords shows up. And he shows up as this like ethical outside source. So it could be a job, it could be whatever. Outside source. It could be a person, male or female, that shows up. That gives you this feeling of somebody who can actually give you this, some honest discernment with that, a detached, honest discernment. That's what I want to say. Okay? Because that's what diplomacy is. It's detached. It's honest. It's ethical, you know, and it's without emotion. And it's like, hey, I see this and this. This is what's going on. Let me help you out, you know? Best case, worst fear. Ten of swords. So there's some completion going on. There's another sword on the board. It's like swords and cups. It's like the whole thing. One wand, the rest are swords and cups. It's like a lot of swords. and It's like a ten, ten cups on this board for you. Um, out of ten cards. So ten of swords. So this is like... Betrayal and sacrifice, outside source. So if this is betrayal and sacrifice, best case is that some, oh goodness, best case is that you are aware of this outside, the first card of the future, seven of ones, of the people coming at you. You get that ethical information, that ethical person, place, or thing that shows you the awareness and you're able to walk away Okay, from the betrayal. Worst case is you walk into the betrayal. You walk out of something good into the betrayal or you walk away from the betrayal because you have the discernment. Because King of Swords is also to me discernment. You have the discernment to see that this is coming. So you walk away from it or you walk towards it. Out, uh, final conclusion and outcome. And, uh, this card being here, I, I don't know. Five of cups. Five of cups. It's a hollow victory. So I'm just going to prepare you no matter which way you choose. Oh, there goes my air conditioning. No matter which way you choose, hollow victory. Let me just turn that off. And I'm going to say that again. No matter which way you choose, it's going to be a hollow victory. Five of swords. Okay. Five of, five of cups. I'm sorry. Five of cups. It's a, five of cups represents a hollow victory. So no matter which way you choose, ten of swords. At least you get the ten. Ten is completion, which brings back the new beginning. Okay. 
Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands. <laughs> Nine of Wands. And this is determination um, despite setbacks and challenges. This is having determination despite the setbacks and challenges. So I just want you to be prepared. You can't make this up. Nine of Wands shows up. This determination despite uh, setbacks. You, you can't... You can't make this up. So <laughs> let's get you an angel card number, Pisces, because I want to make sure that I get you fully covered. Okay. Let's see what the angels have in store for you. Uh, and I'm wishing you so much luck. I'm holding you into, in, in my heart right now. And with the cups, on the, there's, there's a one, two, three, four. Four cups on the board. Cups are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, which is yourself. Okay. And then there's swords. One, two, three swords on the board. And swords are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there's only one, two wands. Two wands would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I just wanted you to know the signs so that maybe the signs can help you determine Who's coming forward? Get one angel card for, yep, take that one. 25. I am intelligent. Oh, this is perfect for you, Pisces, because you this is this is where you are literally being called to use that King of Swords discernment in this to be able to see what was is happening, either in a relationship or at work, that somebody's coming at you. So you got to use that intelligence. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Look at that. Conscious, King of Cups, subconscious. I mean, Knight of Cups, subconscious, King of King of Cups. <laughs> you cannot make this up. La, um, curiosity is endless. Your curiosity is endless. And your desire to drive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. 25. And um, that is number seven. And number seven in tarot is Reflections. I'm going to see my little thing. Reflection, mastery, and waiting. So that's what seven represents in tarot. Reflection, mastery, and waiting. The waiting part, though, that's so, so interesting. I would like to pull a um, stool sign of the time card for you real quick. Sign, signs of the times. Get one card for Pisces. I'll take that one. An action. Sunflower has come forward for you to say, take some action. You know, use your discernment. Use that King of Swords energy. Yeah. King of Swords energy. Use that discernment. Step back into that Emperor energy, that Big D energy, Big P energy. And make sure that you are, despite setbacks, determined and moving forward. That you have determination despite your setbacks. Take action. All right, Pisces? Okay. I love this for you. Um, this is, this is, had a lot of inter interesting information. I love this for you though, because I know that you will be able to see and discern what is going on for you. Remember to watch your sun, moon, rising for a full picture of what's going on for this week. And just to be quite concerned, like conscious of what is going on and just watch this energy unfold and be very, very, very king of cup, king of swords. Okay. Discernment, using that conscious discernment to, to be able to pick people out. Okay. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe and share me with a friend because I'm super shareable. Thank you, Pisces, for showing up today. You're perfect, whole, and complete, and a radiant point of light. And I'm blessed by your presence. Please ring the bell so you know the next time I will come forward with this video for you, with a reading for you on the core of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Bye.